Big exciting news. As of yesterday, the 19th of April, 2021, the Trans-Tasman bubble is officially open between Australia and New Zealand without the requirement of a COVID test or managed isolation. So this was a big deal. It was all over the news. You couldn't watch the news. You couldn't look at the pictures without getting teary-eyed because these were people that were stuck in Australia that wanted to go back to New Zealand. New Zealand has shut its borders for over a year and now for the first time people from Australia were able to fly across the Tasman Sea into New Zealand and they were reunited with family, friends and it was just an amazing experience to see on, on the news here and then I think this moment is going to be a stepping stone with the reopening of borders around the world but all that to say that's not the point of this video the point of this video is to highlight something which affects my Canadian folks in Australia. If you're a Canadian living in Canada, unfortunately this does not apply to you just yet. But if you're a Canadian that has been stuck in Australia and unable to fly out, it is now official. You can apply for a working holiday visa in New Zealand. That is right. I've been kind of just, you know, dabbling with the Australian backpacker groups and the New Zealand backpacker groups on Facebook, and I saw an interesting post by this Martin Blau. And he wrote that New Zealand working holiday visa as of the 19th of April 2021 passport holders from the following 14 countries who are in Australia can apply for a New Zealand working holiday visa. And this is the list right here and included amongst them is Canada. So this applies to people that are, are passport holders of these countries, either of these countries here, these 14 countries and are currently in Australia that have been wanting to get out of Australia and explore New Zealand because that seems to be the trend. We've met backpackers. Usually they start in Australia and then apply for the working holiday in New Zealand. Obviously with COVID, they haven't been able to do that. So this is good news for those people in particular. I had to confirm this information because I mean, this is just a Facebook post. Sure enough, if you go to Immigration New Zealand's website and if you try to apply for a visa under the Canada working holiday visa, meaning you're a Canadian citizen, uh, it shows it right here, open. And it does say temporary, uh, ooh, temporary visa applications from outside of New Zealand or a quarantine free travel zone are currently suspended. But now with the Trans Tasman bubble, we have what's called a safe zone. Right now, the safe zone exists between New Zealand and Australia because these are two countries that have been able to keep their COVID cases low. Australia has done really well. Um, and so if you click on quarantine free travel, it does say you are in a quarantine free travel zone if you are coming from Australia. So quarantine free travel for travelers, travelers arriving in New Zealand from Australia. So what this means, not only can you fly to New Zealand, but you can do so without the requirements of a pre-departure COVID test and you do not have to isolate because that was the real kicker right there. It's like, OK, what good is a, a flight into New Zealand if I have to shell out thousands of dollars for the MIQ, for the managed isolation quarantine? But being in the safe zone now, knock on wood, things don't change you are good. You don't have to pay the extra money for MIQ. You don't have to pay for a pre-departure COVID test certificate. To be eligible for quarantine-free travel, travelers must meet immigration requirements, have spent at least 14 days in Australia or New Zealand, and not had a positive COVID-19 test in their record, meaning you've never gone COVID. And you're also not awaiting your results of COVID-19. This stuff is happening live right now. So hopefully uh, things continue the way they are because I know New Zealand has been getting a lot of pressure from the Australian government to reopen their borders and to allow Aussies to come back in um, for family reasons as well as tourism. I mean, um, we were in Queenstown for the past three months and it is plain as day that Queenstown is suffering. The businesses are struggling to survive. We saw businesses close before our very eyes. We went to this place called Loco. Even after giving out free drinks offers at the hostel that we were staying at, we show up that night and there was nobody in there. And a week later, sure enough, Loco announced that they were shutting its doors because they couldn't stay afloat because of the lack of tourists. And right next to Loco, Base X. This is a hostel chain with, with multiple locations around New Zealand. Their location in Queenstown shut down. This is great that tourists can come back into New Zealand. They could fill up the bars and the hostels and the hotels in Queenstown. Good for the economy, good for tourism, and good for the backpackers, the backpacker community, both in New Zealand and in Australia. Because what that means is that 
backpackers in Australia can leave Oz and discover New Zealand and backpackers in New Zealand can continue working because hospo, uh, restaurants, accommodations, motels, hotels, you name it, uh, they're going to need workers and that's good news for the backpackers that are on working holiday visas and hopefully that means that we'll get extensions, fingers crossed. That's the news. Thanks for tuning in. If you want to know more information about applying for a Canada working holiday visa, I'm going to link below a previous video I did, which goes through the steps more or less on how to apply. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next video.